everyone, it's Emma. Welcome back to my channel. Or hi, if you're new here, my name's Emma. I make YouTube videos, obviously, like the one you're about to see today. Also, I just thought I would let you know that I post on Sundays at 8 o'clock and Wednesdays at 1 o'clock through the end of July, which will be the 30th, in case you were curious. Great, the ice maker turned on, so now it's gonna make noise. So obviously by the title of this video, you know what it's about. So then let's just get started. So if you've been following my social media, either that's YouTube or Instagram for a while, then obviously you know what I'm about to say. And I just have to, I have to. This kimono, I got this like, I don't even know how long ago that was, like three or four weeks ago. And I have just not stopped wearing it. I love it so much. I think I have it in like five of my Instagram pictures, maybe six. Yeah, but it's, it's just so pretty. I, when I saw it at the store, I was like, hey, I like this. But I didn't realize how much I would love it. It just works with a whole lot of outfits. It's from a place called Lizard Thicket, which is a boutique that's in the South. And when I just saw this in the store, it made me really happy when I looked at it. And so I tried it on and it actually looked really good with the outfit that I had on that day. And so I got it and I've been wearing it a whole lot and I just really enjoy this. And I'm sure that you guys know that because of how much I wear it. Last week I was at the beach and I went shopping a few times because we wanted to some days and then it was raining another day. And while I was there, I got to go into an H&M, which I don't have any around near where I live right now. So it was kind of a really good experience. And if you've never been to H&M, you should go at some point in your life. If you've ever been to Forever 21, it's kind of similar to that, except in my opinion, it's a little bit better quality stuff and there's more variety. And so that was kind of my experience with it and I just really enjoyed it. So one of the things that I'm going to show you that I got from there are these really cute sunglasses. So the story behind these was I was at the beach and I have a pair of Ray-Bans but I was too afraid to take them into the ocean with me so I would just wear them around town and out and stuff like that so I needed a new pair of sunglasses. So when we went to H&M, Morgan and I, my friend who came with me to the beach, I found these and I got them and I'm very happy with them. I've worn them a couple other times and I think they're just cool. So something else that I got when I was at the beach, well actually my mom bought it, was this candle that you see in the background. I've seen this candle at a few other stores actually, and I mean I don't really know much about the brand, but I smelled it everywhere I went and thought it was great. So when we finally saw it again, I was with my mom and so I was like, hey smell this, and she smelled it and she loved it, so we bought it. It smells very fruity and summery and delicious. Now it's from a place I'm really trying not to burn myself with the wax here. I read this earlier so that I wouldn't have to do this. Okay, it's from a place called Capri Blue Candles, which this video obviously isn't sponsored. I don't have any followers. So. I've seen this everywhere and I think that their packaging is adorable. And all of the scents that I've ever smelled from this brand smell fantastic. So if you guys are looking for candles, check this brand out. Because I actually got it on their website too. And they have a whole bunch of different colors and scents and just a really cool website and brand, I think. And this is the scent Mint Watercolor Volcano, in case you're curious. And it smells very sweet and citrusy, and it smells like, it smells like tropical, fruit, fresh, like that kind of scent. I don't really know how to explain candle scents, but it's good. The next thing I got when I was at the beach is this very cute necklace that says Mermaid. It's just a little gold plate, actually probably just silver dipped in gold or something, I mean, it's like coming off because I've been wearing it non-stop, I wore it in the ocean, wore it on the sun, it's probably like wearing off. I mean, it wasn't that great quality, I just found it at this little shop, and my, Morgan, my friend who went with me to the beach, we got matching ones, and we both just thought that it was really cute, and so yeah, I just like it. So the last tangible thing that I'm going to show you is this sea salt hair mist spray that I got at Airy one time before I went to the beach because I like the way it looks in my hair. I think it smells fantastic. It is called cocoa and vanilla. I hope they mean coconut because, yeah. Well, it says cocoa and vanilla. I don't really know if that means like chocolate and vanilla, but to me it smells like coconut and vanilla. I hope that's what they mean. The brand is cruelty-free and vegan. It smells like, this might sound weird. I had a beach Barbie when I was a little girl and I mean, I'm still little. I mean, yeah, 16 in case you're curious. About to be 17. and. I had this Barbie doll. She smelled like this. I think it was supposed to smell like her sunscreen or like her tropical something. I don't know. She was a surfer Barbie and she smelled exactly like this. It probably sounds really weird, but if you know what I'm talking about, then you should tell me. 
So I know that I'm probably boring you because I continue to talk about the beach, but I have one more thing to talk about there. So if you didn't know, I did daily vlogging through that entire week, uploading every night a video, except for that one time because of internet connection issues, blah, blah, blah. It's a lot of work for me, but I'm not complaining because it was a lot of fun and I gained a few followers from that. So if that's how you found my channel, hi, my name's Emma, obviously, so what's up? And you can go check that out. I'm sure that you will see it in like recommended or like past video. I could also link it down below. The last thing I want to talk about for favorites was I went to the movies a whole lot this summer. Well, not a whole lot, I wouldn't say a whole lot. I went twice, <laughs> which no, that's not a whole lot. But for me, I don't really go to the movies that often. So to go that much in a short period of time was different. So the first time I went and I saw Pirates of the Caribbean, which Pirates of the Caribbean is one of my favorite, all time favorite movie series. And when they came out with the new one, I was completely like, I don't know, I was I was happy and I was excited, but I was also kind of salty because I was so there was rumors that it was the last one, and I was like, please don't let it end, blah blah blah, and I was upset. But after seeing it, you can ask my well, no, you can't, you can't ask her. But my friend who went with me, she saw me. I bawled my eyes out the whole time, not because it was a sad movie or overly anything. It was just so good. And this might sound weird, but I was also crying because of like the cinematic features of it. Like the way they shot the movie, I thought that was incredible. All their CG effects, everything, that's, it blows my mind. I don't completely understand it, but the bits that I do, I can see that they put so much time and effort into that movie. And I can tell you from my own personal experience, that was a fantastic movie. And you guys should check it out if you're into the Pirates movies. And yeah, that's basically all I have to say about that one. Because I, obviously, as you can tell, I really, really like that movie. So the next movie that I'm going to talk about that I went and saw was Cars 3. Now, it was a great movie and I had a lot of fun watching it. But the best part was I went to the drive-in movies to see this. And I saw it with my friend Morgan, who's my best friend, obviously. I, mean, I talk about her all the time. So we went and saw this movie together and we got to see it in her car. And it was just... A fun experience. Oh, if you haven't seen Cars 3, you should go check them out too. Wow, I really sound like I'm sponsoring Disney, but I swear I'm not. I mean, Disney here, if you want to hit me up. But that will be it for this video. If you guys liked it, then please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. Also, my Instagram will be linked down below, so you should go check that out, definitely. And I guess that's everything for this video, so I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.